To begin the quest, head to the area located here on the map. Find and speak to Charlie, choose the first chat option and accept the quest. Next, use the Lodestone Network and teleport to Eagle's Peak. Just your west is a mountain. Go ahead and just run to the north side of it. When you find a campsite, Go ahead and inspect the books at the bottom of the tree. Then read said book all the way. You should have a metal feather in your inventory. Head up the mountain by climbing the rocks just to your south. and use your metal feather on the rocky outcrop. Once inside the cave, head directly south and you should get a cutscene. Choose the first chat option for the three prompts. In case you accidentally click away, he does have a shout to option. After the conversation, pick up 10 feathers right next to you. Next, head to the fancy clothes store southeast of Varrock. Speak to the shop owner and choose a second chat option. Speak to him again, choose a second, then the first chat option. You should now have two fake beaks and capes. Next, head back to Eagle Speak and speak to the NPC inside the mountain once again. Stand near the ledge and shout to him. Now to set the NPC free, you will need to collect three feathers, this being the silver, gold, and bronze. You can collect these in any order you'd wish, or just follow along with what I do. So let's go ahead and collect the bronze feather. Head southwest and enter the cave. Attempt to grab the feather from the pedestal. Once you fail, operate the four winches in the room. Now you could grab the feather. Once that's done, exit the cave and enter the cave just to your north. Inspect the pedestal. Now this is your typical sort of hunter escapade. Inspect the opening and slay the kevit.
Then of course grab your silver feather and exit the cave. And last but not least, the golden feather. Head all the way northeast. This is on the opposite section of the entire entrance of the mountain. And enter the cave. Now before we proceed, at any point during the puzzle, if you mess up, simply exit the cave and pull this over to reset your puzzle. Once in, grab some bird seeds. Now this puzzle involves a lot of very specific placing, so for that reason I recommend you watch exactly as I do as I will be describing things very simple. I did try to keep my compass facing north at all times to make things easier, so let's get started. Once you've obtained your seeds, place them on this feeder right here. And pull the nearby lever. Then pull the other lever just to your north. Then place seeds on the southeastern most bird feeder. Then the one right next to it. Then pull the lever to the far east. Then pull the second lever that you pulled earlier. Then place seeds on the bird feeder just a few steps to your north. Then pull the lever just to the west of where you stand. Place seeds on the southwesternmost feeder. Then lastly, place seeds on the feeder just to your east. You can now walk down the center path and obtain the golden feather. Once obtained, exit the cave. Once you're in the room with the NPC once again, head just east of your first door where we obtained the bronze feather. You will find a large door with some missing spaces. Go ahead and add your three feathers 
onto that door. Make sure you are wearing your set of Eagle outfit. Click on the Eagle to bypass him. Then speak to the NPC. He will take your other set of Eagle clothing. Once the conversation is over, go ahead and teleport back to Eagle's Peak or just walk out. Head back to the campsite where you found the book at the start of the quest. And you will find the NPC once again. Speak to him and choose the first chat option for both prompts. You will now receive a cutscene. Once the ferret is caught and in your inventory, head back to where you started the quest. Speak to Charlie. And quest complete.